and today I'm going to be sharing with you a December favorites video. Now I know that you liked my November favorites, so I'm going to continue to do this each month. So let's dive into what I've been loving this December. Quick side note, I did just record a makeup tutorial, so you can go to the description box below and see how I did this really fun cut crease look and any of my other holiday fun things to do. Okay. Alright, so I've tried out a few new products this month just because I have been kind of getting a few new MAC products and I needed a new primer. So I have usually been using my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. As you can see, I'm almost out. I've had this guy for a while and I've really liked that. So I wanted to go in and get another one, but then I noticed that they have this new green one and it is the blemish control and it's oil free. So basically it says that it banishes your blemishes, you don't have to worry about it breaking you out. And I love that because anytime that you put primers on your skin, it can break you out. So this one has um, been used, I've been using all month long and I have not had any problems with any breakouts and that's amazing. The second thing I wanted to share with you is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Now I don't use this as an actual foundation because Stick foundations, I don't know, I don't really know if I would want to use it just because I love my um, other liquid foundations. But I got the shade 330. Now you're thinking, holy cow, that is so dark. And it actually is. So I use this to contour. I do not use it for a foundation. I put it in and I just contour with it. And you can see me blend it out. And it just gives you that really nice contour. So instead of using a powder that can come sometimes be blotchy, I use my foundation stick on a Real Technique stippling brush and then just buff it into where I would need to contour and it works amazingly. So I highly recommend you try this out. Um, it's a really nice kind of um, matte finish and it works really well for contouring. Then I got a new um, blush by MAC. This is a sheer tone blush and this is Gingerly. Now I really like this and I'm wearing it today. Quite a few of these products you see are going to be in my new tutorial. Uh, for New Year's Eve, but this is like a really gorgeous like sheer tone natural blush and you can see it right here and it just gives you like that really pretty sweep of color whenever you're wanting to wear bright lipsticks or if you have a dramatic eye like I do today and I don't really want to wear pink or red on my cheeks. I got a new paint pot and you guys may have seen these already. Um, this is the Soft Okra. Um, you see the Paint Really Paint Pot a lot but for me who has more of a yellow skin tone, using a pink paint pot kind of, I don't know, it may like throw off my eye color just a little bit. So I like using this one because as you can see this has more of a yellow base and you can see it literally just like blends right into my skin which is awesome. Thus I have a new base for what I need to do um, eye looks like today. I've never tried a MAC pigment, one of the loose pigments before, and so I went and picked up two of them. One was a recommendation from a friend, the other one was a recommendation from one of the store um, MAC artists. And the first one that I got is the blue brown pigment, and the second one that I got is old gold. Now this is just a gorgeous gold color, I love it for the holidays, I'm a really big gold user. So as you can see, this color is just really pretty, let me swatch it for you. Let me find a place where I can swatch it, I'll swatch it on my wrist. So as you can see, it's just like a really gorgeous gold color and it has kind of like a greenish base and so it's just so pretty. I love it. This is the blue brown. Now it's going to look a little bit different when you do not have it wet or if you do not use Fix Plus. It has more of a burgundy kind of iridescent color. And as soon as you put a little water, yes, I'm using spit, I know, whatever. It's crazy. As soon as you add some water, it pulls up those like it looks like mermaid scales to me. I mean, how gorgeous is that? It's kind of like a burgundy brown color with these blue, like iridescent reflections. It's so gorgeous. I love, 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 love this. So I got a few things at CVS, and one of them was this Revlon Color Stay Gel Eyeliner. Now I've been needing um, a brown one. I have beautiful black ones, but I've been needing a brown one because sometimes I don't like to do the harsh black. Um, when I wear more of a natural, I like to use brown, and let me find if I can get a little brush to give you a little swatch of it. But this one is just a really gorgeous brown. It has beautiful pigment to it, and I like that it's really easy to apply, so I've been loving this gel formula. It stays in place, or I can smudge it out, which is really nice. 
two lip colors that I've been wearing a ton and you'll see this in a few of my tutorials. I've been wearing it a lot because I absolutely love this color and it was in my matte review, um, my MAC matte lipstick review. This is the Flat Out Fabulous and you can see it swatched on my hand right here. It is just this gorgeous like pinkish color and it looks amazing on blondes. So I'm love, love, loving this one. And a new one that I got is, I think it's Mer, M-E-H-R, I don't know how to correctly pronounce that, but it's kind of like a natural with a little bit more pigment, so it's like your lips but better. And these are both matte finishes and they stay in place and last a long time. So that's why I've been loving these formulas. And you can also put like a gloss over this one and make it a little bit lighter and it's really pretty. So that is Flat Out Fabulous and M-E-H-R, Mer. I did a post on these on my Instagram to show you that I got a few of these on clearance. It is the Baby Lips. I've never tried these before. This is my first time trying them, and I've been using them this month. I put the green one on in the morning before I do my makeup. That way my lips are moisturized, and these are just a great formula. They have SPF in them of 20. They have a few that are a little bit tinted, which is really nice, and I just think they do a really good job of moisturizing, especially for winter time when my lips tend to be a little dry, especially if I want to put lipstick on. I don't want to have like cakey dry lips. So this really helps and keep my lips nice and healthy. Moving on to hair products. I am loving, loving, loving my Chopper, um, Chopper Kisses Lucky Ties. So I'm trying to remember what they're called. But basically I have a whole bunch of these really fun like fabric hair ties and I keep this on this little string so I can keep them all together on my cat or someone will take them from me. But as you can see they're just these soft fabric hair ties and instead of having like a damaging rubber band that's really harsh whenever I put up my hair in ponytails or when I sleep at night, I can use one of these really cute and stylish little lucky ties and it'll just keep my hair a, a lot in a lot better health instead of breaking it and snapping it off because it's a soft fabric and what's really cool is that when you wear them on your wrist obviously they're a lot prettier than wearing one of those like hair bands that are just like black or brown or whatever so they have come in a bunch of different styles and patterns they also have um, headband ones like this one that I like to wear whenever I do my makeup to keep my hair out of my face it doesn't like compress against my head and make it hurt so I really like these so this is the new dry shampoo that I am using. I think it's pronounced, but I don't even know. I'm not going to pronounce it, but <laughs> you guys know what this is. And let me just show you how this stuff works because it's crazy how well this stuff works. Let me just show you. Do you see that like spray powder? I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it is super intense. And I mean, it just blows powder. You have so much product in this one can. They have different um, scents and they also have one for dark hair, brown hair. Um, my friend Cassie from Shades of Cassie uses the brown one and it's perfect for her hair color. It doesn't show up like white or weird in her hair and that's awesome. So I got the cool and crisp fresh scent because I just like fresh smelling things. And this one is amazing. I live off my dry shampoo. I can't live without it. It's the most amazing product in the world and I'm so glad that this one is like $8 at Ulta. So that is a good product to try. And the last one that I am sharing with you guys today is a perfume. This is Victoria's Secret's Fabulous Perfume. I kind of sprayed it on me at the store a few times and smelt it, and I really liked it. So I went back and got my own little bottle, and it comes in this cute little glass bottle, and I got the 1.7 ounce that they had a sale on. So it was actually um, $25 whenever they have good perfume sales. So make sure you pay attention to that because all of their perfumes within a certain size go on sale for $25. And that wraps up my December favorites. I hope that you guys have maybe found a few new things to go and try out, and I hope you're enjoying my new favorites videos. So let's see what I have to share with you next month. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to see more of these videos by me.